Not many people get to eat at a national landmark, but if you head to Walter's Hot Dog Stand on Palmer Ave, you may get the chance. After closing during the winter for renovations, Walter's Hot Dog Stand, a national historic landmark, is back in business for spring. We were closed for four months and then we recently reopened on May 2nd and um, that weekend we saw more foot traffic than ever. With so much foot traffic, Catherine breaks down Walter's menu. Obviously the highlight here is our hot dogs. Um, we have a single hot dog, which is a hot dog split right down the middle and grilled in our special sauce. Um, we have a double hot dog, which is two singles on one bun, uh, which is a popular, popular item. And then we also have a puppy dog, which is half of a hot dog. Um, a lot of people get that for kids or as a snack or if they're just trying to eat something light. Our hot dogs um, have been our recipe since 1919, since we opened. It's a recipe that um, Walter, my great-grandfather, came up with. Uh, the hot dogs are a blend of pork, veal, and beef. And then we also have our house-made mustard, um, which is our own recipe. We also bottle that and sell it here as well as online. And that's a mustard relish blend that we make here. The food is so good, it's no wonder Walter's customers have been so loyal for so many years. How long you've been going to um, Walter's well, Hot Dog Stand? I'm turning 70 in a couple of days, and so that's how long. Wow. Uh, well, we, we'd probably say 69. I probably didn't have Walter's Hot Dogs when I was an infant, <laughs> but um, my mother also uh, was born and raised on Walter's Hot Dogs. I used to live here like 50 years ago and I went to high school with Christine and uh, I make a trip to, I live in Tokyo now and I come to New York like a couple times a year and every time I come, this is the place I come. So how did Walters come to be? Walter and my grandmother Rose started a roadside stand on Boston Post Road and they sold apples and cider and hot dogs and drinks. And then in 1928, they were able to purchase this piece of property, and he had an architect design the Chinese pagoda, and he established the business here in 1928, so we've been in business quite a while. Even after all these years, Walters continues to be the go-to hangout spot. It's been 70 doggone years. This is Don Julian reporting for The Local Live, signing off. <laughs>